Hi guys, you're watching PC Repair Guru and today we're going to show you guys how to disable program from the start menu for Windows 10 and faster boot time for Windows 10. To, in order to do that, you will need to go on this program called MS Config, which uh, is a system configuration for Microsoft designed by Microsoft so um, all you need to do is uh, check your services go on a manufacturing tab and disable the one that you don't use the most for example here as you can see I've got Apple device service if you install the iTunes that will appear here so depending on how often you use it you might want to consider disabling it so I disabled mine because I don't use it as much and as you can see here I've got Dropbox I don't use Dropbox uh, most of the time so I'm going to disable that so it doesn't really doesn't really there's no point having that on uh, Fox that's another PDF opener which uh, sometimes don't that's an update service which I don't want to run at the background I normally do it manually same with malware you don't really need to run that service um, that's about it and if you just go down there shouldn't be other ones as well yeah. team viewer service running I would want it to be running at the background so that's another I want to take that one off and that's about it I'm gonna leave Xbox Live and that's it and just apply and once you apply go on startup open task manager and here it will tell you the last time your system booted the fastest booted 9.9 .9 seconds that's when you play when you press the power button and it boots up and here you can ch check the startup impact depending on which ones you got so just click on status and check the enable ones and as you can see here i got a java update that's one of the java programs um, update software and eset firewall Smart security and CFOS, I got that one, and the rest are disabled because I don't use it as often and only use it like time to time. So I don't want to keep it at the startup. And that's about it. And there you have it. You can also keep in mind when it comes to services, you can also um, diagnose uh, if there's any programs conflicting with games or pre application software, any other application that's conflicting. You might want to consider disabling certain ones and just checking. And restarting and checking whether it's fixed the problem or not and there you have it guys thank you for watching subscribe and like the video guys and do leave a comment below